Hey YouTube, this is Brandon here, and this is my girlfriend Amy. She's showing the games for you guys. So her first pickups today were uh, Zach and Wiki, and that's for the Wii. She paid a total of $3 for that game. It is complete. The next game she picked up was Final Fantasy X, and that was $2. It's missing the manual, but you can't really complain for $2. And the next thing is what I picked up. So I picked up a uh, Wave Bird Receiver for the GameCube, and I also picked up a game called uh, Master of the Monster Lair. It's an Atlas title for the DS. And then I also picked up uh, Trauma Center New Blood for the Wii, and it's an Atlas title, so I got I can't complain picking those up. So those three, I paid a total of $20 for. And then uh, the next thing I picked up was Legend of Legaia. On eBay, it sells loose for about $20 to $25. They wanted $20. I paid a total of $15 cash out the door. So that was a pretty good deal for a PlayStation 1 RPG. So the next thing I picked up was Okam Okami, Okami or whatever. And I paid $3 from the Salvation Army. It is complete. And I've heard great things about it from other YouTubers. The next thing I picked up was Tai 3, the Tasmanian Tiger. And I've heard good things about it. It's kind of like a Banjo-Kazooie style game. And it was only $4.00. So you can't really go wrong with it. The next thing I picked up was Swashbucklers Blue vs. Grey for the PlayStation 2. I paid $7.99 for it. Um, it has an RPG uh, style advanced system to it, so you can't really go wrong for an RPG. And then the next thing I picked up was Going Quackers, Donald Duck's edition, I guess. And it's for PlayStation 1. I paid $4.99 for it. Um, the next things I picked up was... Okay, so for $4.99, the whole unit, it came with uh, a DS. The hinge is broken on it, but uh, I'm going to fix that, so I'm not really too worried for $5. It works. I charged, I plugged it in, and everything works. And it came with that charger. It also came with a Game Boy Advance SP. It's a little scratched up, but on the inside, it, it works fine, and it's not horrible condition. And like I said, the whole thing was $4.99. Uh, $4 and I also had to buy a charger for the Game Boy Advance SP, but I took a game that I actually got earlier, which was Tales of Vesperia for the Xbox 360, which I already had. And this was a copy without a manual I bought for $3, and I had to pay a total of $5 out of pocket for the charger. And that came originally all in a Nintendo case. So you can't really complain for $5. And then the last thing I picked up was a phone. It's got fingerprints and smudges all over it, but I got a HTC Titan. It's from AT&T. Hopefully got rid of most of the fingerprints. Um, it's in really nice condition. There was only $15 from a value village. So it's not that old of a phone, maybe like a year and a half, two years, but uh, for $15 for a smartphone that I can just mess around with. I like technology, so what can I say? Anyways, I'm not going to talk too much about that. It works. It's in good condition. That's all I care about. So that was our pickup for today. Hopefully you guys liked it. My cat was just attacking my girlfriend. And my dog's in on this too. Say hi. And my cat. Anyways, there's the whole family down here. <laughs> so that was our pickups. Bundle of games right there. Systems. Cell phone. Let me know how you guys like this version with my girlfriend helping out and showing off the items so that I can stabilize the camera a bit better and make it look nicer. Anyways, take care YouTube. Comment, rate, subscribe.